video, I'm going to be showing you my Atraxa Commander deck. I unfortunately do not know where my Atraxa Commander actually is. <laughs> I'm using the bigger version of her, not like the small one, like the standard size like these. So I have to find her. Um, but anyway, Atraxa is, um, what, like a green, a black, a blue, and a white. And she proliferates and has, like, what, flying vigilance and all that fun stuff. Um, but anyway, so proliferating, um, gives things, like, like, extra counters at the end step, I believe. So this deck is pretty fun. Um, it used to be Super Friends, but now I have a little more spells and it's not all Planeswalkers. So I also have a new setup today. I hope it doesn't throw anybody off. Um, I'm hoping that the, um, like, lighting is a little better. Um, and I hope that you don't hear my cat, because I kicked her out of my bedroom. So anyway, we have Enter the God Eternals. It's a sorcery. Enter the God Eternals deals 4 damage to target creature, and you gain life equal to the damage dealt this way. Target player puts the top 4 cards of their library into their graveyard. And it has a mass four. Then we have Dune Blast, a sorcery. Choose up to one creature, destroy the rest. I really like the art on that. It's pretty cool, but it is four colorless, a white, a black, and a green. Here we have a promo, Soul Diviner. It's one blue and one black. You can really see the foiling in this room. It's a creature zombie wizard, and you can tap, remove a counter from an artifact, a creature, a land, or planeswalker you control, and draw a card. It is a 2-3. Now it's been a while since I've gone through this and updated it, so you might see some cards that you're wondering, like, why is that in there? There's probably some better alternatives, and um, maybe I'll do a video where I go through this and actually change a lot. Here we have Cleansing Nova, 3 colorless, 2 white, sorcery, destroy all creatures, or destroy all artifacts and enchantments, and you can choose one. Here we have Muldratha, the Grave Tide, 3 colorless, a black, a green, and a blue. Legendary creature, elemental avatar, and this can also be a commander. A lot of people have this as a commander, and that's a pretty cool deck too. During each of your turns, you may play up to one permanent card of each permanent type from your graveyard. It is a 6-6. Six, six. Here we have Oath of Ajani, one green and white. Legendary enchantment. When Oath of Ajani enters the battlefield, put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. Planeswalker spells you cast cost one less to cast. Now, um, has anybody been playing pre-release this weekend? I won't be going to pre-release until tomorrow, but I'm really looking forward to it, and I plan on it, uh, opening a pre-release kit, too, for y'all. Here we have Austere Command, four colorless, two white sorcery, and you can choose to destroy all artifacts, all enchantments, all creatures with converted mana cost three or less, or all creatures with converted mana cost four or greater. Here we have Contagion Clasp, 2 mana artifact. When Contagion Clasp enters the battlefield, put a neg one neg one counter on target creature. Pay for it, tap it, and proliferate. Proliferate. Here we have Custody Soul Binders, 3 colorless, 1 white creature human cleric. It enters the battlefield with X plus 1 plus 1 counters on it, where X is the number of other creatures on the battlefield. You can pay 3, remove a plus 1 plus 1 counter from Custody Soul Binders, binders and create a 1-1 one, one white spirit creature token with flying, and it comes in with as a 0-0. Zero, zero. Well, it starts out as a 0-0, zero, zero, but comes in with some counters on it. Pollen Bright, 2 mana, creature elf druid. When it enters the battlefield, choose 1, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on target creature, or proliferate, and it's a 1-1. One, one. Sublime Exhalation, Exhalation, a uh, seven mana sorcery with Undaunted, and Destroy All Creatures. 
has 20 or more growth counters on it, you win the game. Good fortune, unicorn. A3 mana, 2-2. Two, two. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one, plus one counter on that creature. Who doesn't love a good unicorn? We have the Apex Hybrid. Legendary creature, human mutant, with flying and trample. When it enters the battlefield, put two plus one plus one counters on another target creature you control. And when it dies, proliferate, and then proliferate again. It's a 4-5. And we have Chalet, Voice of Plenty, four mana, legendary creature, angel with flying. You, planeswalkers you control, and other creatures you control have hexproof. You can pay six to put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. And she's a 3-4. Then we have Putrefying, 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 Cultivate, Cultivate. I love the art on this one too, it's pretty. Cultivate. Obnixilis, Reignited, a 5 mana planeswalker. His plus 1 is you draw a card and you lose a life. Neg 3, destroy target creature. And Neg 8, target opponent, it gets in an emblem with whenever a player draws a card. You lose two life, and he comes in at five loyalty. We have a foil biogenic upgrade, a five, six mana sorcery that distribute three plus one plus one counters among one, two, or three creatures, um, and then double the number of plus one plus one counters on each of those creatures. Uh, Juniper Order Ranger, a five mana human knight. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one plus one counter on that creature and a plus one plus one counter on Juniper Order Ranger and it's a 2-4. Anguished Unmaking. Zagana Utopian Speaker, a four mana merfolk wizard. When it enters the battlefield, if you control another creature with a plus one plus one counter on it, draw a card, and you can pay six for adapt to four, and she's a four four. A Johnny the Great Hearted, a four mana planeswalker. Creatures you control have vigilance, plus one, you gain three life, and neck two. Put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control, and a loyalty counter on each other planeswalker you control. He comes in with a five loyalty. Hawatli's Raptor, two mana dinosaur, the vigilance, and when it enters the battlefield, proliferate. It is a two three. Here we have Varaska, Golgari Queen, a four mana planeswalker. Uh, you may sacrifice another permanent. If you do, you gain one life and draw a card. That is her plus two. This card is so dark you can't even really see that. Uh, neg 3 is destroy target non mana permanent with converted mana cost three or less, and her neg nine. You get an emblem with whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, that player loses the game, and she comes in with foil for loyalty. Here we have Deseret's Gambit. You can draw two cards and then proliferate. Knight of Autumn, three mana, Dryad Knight, it's a 2-1, that does some fun stuff. Gave Guru of Spores. the battlefield with four plus one plus one counters on it, and whenever it attacks, double the number of plus one plus one counters on each creature you control. Here we have a foil, Mamir Vig, Simic Visionary. I like the foiling on that. And we have Vindicate, Vindicate. Gideon of the Trials, a three mana planeswalker, is plus one until your next turn, prevent all damage, target zero ability until end of turn. Gideon of the Trials becomes a 4-4 human soldier creature with indestructible that's still a planeswalker. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to him this turn. And another zero is you get an emblem with as long as you control a Gideon planeswalker. You can't lose the game and your opponents can't win the game. And he comes in with three loyalty. Corpse Jack Menace, a four mana fungus. If one or more plus one plus one counters would be placed on a creature you control, twice that many plus one plus one counters are placed on it instead. It comes in as a four four. 
Urban Evolution, five mana sorcery. Draw three cards. You may play an additional land this turn. Scavenging Ooze, two mana Ooze. You can pay a green to exile target card from a graveyard. If it was a creature card, put a plus one plus one counter on Scavenging Ooze and you gain a life. It's a two two. Woodland Wanderer. This is a promo with Vigilance and Trample. It has Converge, and it comes in as a 2-2. We have uh, Cathar's Crusade, 5 mana enchantment. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on each creature you control. Then we have Combined Guild Mage, a 2 mana Merfolk Wizard. It's a 2-2. Two -two. You can pay 2. Tap it in this turn. Each creature you control enters the battlefield with an additional plus one plus one counter on it. Or pay two, tap it to move a plus one plus one counter from target creature you control onto another target creature you control. Here we have a really pretty Liliana Vess by Therese Nielsen. I love this foil. Five mana planeswalker. Your plus one is target player discards a card. Neg two. Search your library for a card, then shuffle your library and put that card on top of it. Neg 8. Uh, put all creature cards from all graveyards onto the battlefield under your control, and she comes in with 5 loyalty. Sylvan Reclamation. Ashiok Dream Renderer. Render. 3 mana planeswalker. Spells and abilities your opponent's control can't cause your um, their controller to search their library. Neg one is target player puts the top four cards of their library um, into their graveyard, then exile each opponent's graveyard, and it comes in with five loyalty. Enduring Scale Lord, a dragon. Forgotten Ancient, one of my favorite cards in the deck. It's a four mana, zero three. Whenever a player casts a spell, you may put a plus one plus one counter on Forgotten Agent. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may remove any number of plus one plus one counters from Forgotten Agent onto other creatures. Reminds me of Groot, or that little um, twig guy from for, like the Fantastic Beast series. <laughs> Bread for the Hunt, three mana enchantment. Whenever a creature you control with a plus one plus one counter on it deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card. And the last um, spell or creature, whatever, Incubation Druid, two mana creature elf druid. Tap it to add one mana of any type that a land you could pr um, control could produce. If the druid has a plus one plus one counter on it, add three mana of that type instead. And you can pay five um, for a tap three, and it comes in as a zero two. Now I saved the lands for last. Um, I'm not going to just like read them, I'm just going to go through them. A foil swamp, caves of Koilos, sunken hollow, woodland cemetery, prairie stream, misty rainforest, one of my favorite fetches, razor verge thicket, temple of the false god, evolving wilds. Bajukabog, Reliquary Tower, Botanical Sanctum, Flooded Strand, Foil Plains, Isolated Chapel, Hinterland Harbor, uh, Sandstep Citadel, Murmuring Bosk, Ash Bear. Farmland, Arcane Sanctum, Waterlogged Grove, Watery Grave, Foil Choked Estuary, Opal Palace, Seaside Citadel, Windswept Heath, A Foil Forest, Carnes Bastion, Foil Island, Scattered Groves, Concealed Courtyard, Blooming Marsh, Breeding Pool, and the last land is Gyre Reach Sanitarium. Now, um, that is the end of this video, but I do plan on having
filming a couple pre-release videos so tomorrow um, be on the lookout for a pre-release kit opening and then I was thinking about doing a video on the deck that I build for pre-release let me know if that is something that you would be interested in but thank you for watching please consider liking and subscribing if you like this content and I will see you all soon